On behalf of the government and people of Ghana, I thank President Jana Sada and the government and people of Hungary once again for the support offered to Ghana's successful candidature for a non-permanent seat in the United Nations Security Council for the years 2022 and 2023. Ghana received the highest number of votes on the day, which could not have been possible without your active support, Mr. President. We discussed collaboration in the maintenance of peace and security, especially the challenges in the Sahel region of West Africa, which has witnessed the presence of terrorists and jihadist forces, leading to an upsurge in violence and instability in the area. With Africa confronted by multiple threats to the territorial integrity of some of its states, and many of its civilian populations being put under serious threats. It shall be the position of Ghana on the Security Council that now is not the time for the Council to reduce its peacekeeping mandates on the continent. On the contrary, it should increase them in a penny-wise, pound-foolish scenario. I indicated to President Ada that Ghana supports wholeheartedly the process of, the process of UN reform especially of the UN Security Council, as set out in Africa's common position on UN reform, based on the El Zawini consensus, and is anxious that the matter of UN reform be restored to the global agenda. I solicited the support of Hungary and the other countries of Europe for this long overdue reform. It is time to correct the long-standing injustice that the current structure and composition of the UN Security Council represent for the nations of Africa. On the issue of migration, we have seen and continue to see the high numbers of young Africans taking distressing risks across the Sahara and around the Mediterranean, trying to reach a better life. Whilst we strive to provide youth with the right environment in Africa, which would enable them to enhance their skills, receive appropriate training, and have access to digital technology and enhance economic opportunities. President Ada and his delegation have reiterated their determination to champion the need for humane treatment of illegal migrants, as well as the protection of their human rights in accordance with international law, both at home and in European platforms. I indicated to President Ada that we value very much our relationship and cooperation with the European Union, of which Hungary is an important member. This relationship encompasses a wide range of areas, in all of which the European Union has proved to be a valuable and dependable partner. We're delighted that on 7 January 2022, we received a notification from the European Commission through the intermediary of the Commissioner for Financial Services, Financial Stability and Capital Markets Union, May Reed McGuinness, that Ghana, after the pursuit of some rigorous reforms, has now been formally removed from the grey list of high-risk third countries in money laundering activities. 